Welcome back to my channel. This is Lori, the Crafter in the Mitten. If you're a returning visitor, I appreciate that very much. And if you're a new one, I appreciate that also very much. Now, uh, the other day I made a master um, collage board. And I'll link that link below if you want to see how we started with these cards here. I got a whole stack of them that I did. I think I came up with, I think I counted 39 of them or something like that. Anyway, I went ahead and decorated a couple of them just to, just to get something started. Let's see if I can make that focus for you. And I made some business cards. I put them on the back. And they're just made out of regular paper. Now, you don't have to worry about doing that. I just did that so when I'm talking about my YouTube channel, people will know what I'm talking about. Or they'll, hopefully, they'll remember me and visit my channel is, my, is what I'm hoping. They'll have a little sample of my artwork. So anyway, so let's get started. Enough of that introduction stuff. So anyway, I went ahead and started a couple of them. I put some washi tape on, on here and here. And here's some plain ones. And so anyway, and as you can see, my desk is really cluttered with a lot of little ephemera pieces. And so I have no idea what I'm going to do. We're just going to do it as we go. And I didn't even plan those other two out. But anyway, so let's get started. So here's a, a ticket, and I put some lace on it. I thought that would be pretty to, to put on a card like this or like on the side. So I like to put a little bit of something with texture on each card um, just so they can, I don't know, I guess so it's more mixed media. So when I hand these out, I can tell them, well, I do mixed media or whatever. Anyway, so like I said, let's get started here. So this would be pretty cute on here. Um, let's see. And I have some some fibers here to work with. And some lace. And some three-dimensional little, I don't know what you call them. They're stickers, technically. And that's what I put on this one here. One of those. And I wrapped a little bit of this fiber here. This one here, the white one. So I'm just, like I said, I'm not going to overthink these. I'm just going to start decorating. Because I could sit here all day trying to think, oh, this is cute, oh, this is cuter, whatever. So let's just, let's just get going. Like I said, I put some washi tape on that one. You know, I like to make this one a little three-dimensional as well. What can I put on here to make it stand out a little more? Maybe I could put seen this this frame that might be cute I have a whole bunch of die cuts and stuff I've cut out as well and I have some of these oops, lace stickers and these are way tinier than I had expected I thought these would be um, at least two times three times bigger than what they really are then I have some little tiny um, pieces of ephemera here that I can use for for um, layering here. Would this be cute because it's kind of the same flower, so I could just kind of put that there, maybe, or up here like that. Put a little tag up here, or put it up to the side even. I could just leave it alone. That might be okay. They all don't have to be really elaborate. And I'm just going to go ahead and put one of these cards on the end of it, back of it. And this one looks like I need to trim it just a little.
I think that'll all be okay. I'll set it aside. And I might think of something else to add to it later. Who knows? I never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so we can do something like this. That one. I just want to put a little bit of glue on that lace. Just so it... um. It's sticking down too. And then I can grab one of these little stickers here, a little round sticker. Put that on top there to give it some kind of layering. Okay, that'll be okay. Here we go. Took some work to get that sticker off. <laughs> I mean the back of backing of that sticker off. It's kind of a transparent one, but I don't think it matters that it's a little transparent. And we can maybe put a little bling on here. I have um, a little bit of sparkle stuff. Let me grab that real quick. I know we all like to do things in threes, don't we? So I guess I'll put another one on. Hopefully, he hasn't frame on that. Don't know if I was or not. I hope so. This is what this one looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull these little business cards on the back. I think I need to trim each of them down just a tiny bit more. This one's got some washi tape that you can see right through it. I think it needs some type of little graphic somewhere. You know, something with some dimension here. And I'm just grabbing things kind of randomly here. I'm looking at the color. This is pretty color. I could do a couple of these little booklets in the, kind of in the center.
stuck to me. What's stuck to me? Here's this one. A little bit of sparkle on it. A little bit of dimension. I can't say this one's my favorite, but I'm crying. I could do is we could uh, um, put some ink around the edges here. I want to go with a pink. Um, this is going to be a bright one, but I think it's okay. Let's put something like that. This one is done as well. Now I'm, I might cut out me putting in business cards and all of them. Well, actually, I'll do that at the end. That's just taking up too much time. But let's just let's just decorate. So let's get going here again. There's one. There's some green in it. So this lady with some green that will look nice. We'll put her in there. And maybe a little bit more layering again. Some of these little like little paper I don't know what they are little teeny bitty little I think this one's supposed to be like a recipe card <laughs> or something really tiny what's can we put in with that I got a million things of course I can't find anything I want it Put a this on there. No, oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going over to this one. I know. <laughs> Just have to see that that might be pretty over there. On that one. Let's see what else do I have here? Clear that up, that little heart there. That's what I think I'll do. I'll put this little heart here. Oops. It doesn't move. But I put enough glue on that. Yeah, that's fine. feel like something's missing on this and I don't know what um I don't know if I actually want to put another sparkly thing on there maybe one of these that one look nice on there I don't like that. That's in the center. For some reason, I just don't like it all center, center. I just, mm -mm. maybe over here on this side. It's got adhesive on there, but I really don't trust it. Oh, 
All right, so I think I'm going to make some more um, off camera and then I'll come back and show you um, some other ones that I decorated. I think that's a good plan. Okay, she's up and I ended up with 30, I think it's 30 cards. So I got them all laid out. Not all of them. I got a big stack here, but I got a few of them laid out so we can take a look at them. So I thought I'd just go through them all and show you what we have here. So I'll just grab the first one and hopefully it's focus so you can see it and I made business cards and I just printed the business cards just on plain copy paper so I could just um, cut them out and glue them on the back of each of these ATCT cards ATC cards oh my goodness I can't say it right okay Another one. Uh -huh. So we're on three. Fourth one. This one's really colorful. I like the way this one turned out. I think it's cute. I use some paper flowers and I use a little like, plastic gem that has a, like a butterfly inside. This one turned out cute. This is one of Tim Holtz's paper dolls. And I put a little tab on it. There's another one that turned out pretty cool. And the sewing theme. I thought that looked good against that tatting, tatting lace. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And there's another one. So if you're enjoying this or finding this useful, um, can you please subscribe to my channel? I appreciate it. I'm still on the new side of the channel. And like it. Make comments. Oh, I know what I was going to say. If you'd like one of these ATC cards, you can email me and I'll leave the email address. Well, it should be in my description, but I'll leave, make sure it's in the description. Um, and it's lorand at craftwithmitten.com. This will be L-A-U-R-A-N, like Nancy, D like David, at craftwithmitten.com. And I'll be happy to send you one. Well, actually, it's trade. If you have any, um, if you have any you made yourself, it'd be fun to trade them. If not, that's okay. I'll, I can still send you one of these. So you can start a collection. That'd be kind of cool. Another one. Lost. I forgot to keep counting. Okay. Well, anywho. This buds. They're just cute. These little girls. I think their sisters are dressed alike. Wanderer. I look good with the bike. Make it count. The clock. This is one of the clocks I made in one of my other videos. And this one is um, Do Your Best. Put some buttons on. Oh, I meant to give this a title. Oh, Hope. This does have a title, Hope. I've been trying to make sure each of these I made have some kind of title. This one isn't exactly, but I figured all that wording and with that, it's pretty busy. This one's in mid one, the ticket. This one says hi. And this is fearless. I, I figured fearless would not good with a beehive. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I think I counted 30 of them earlier. Um, again, leave me a comment. I appreciate it. Anyway, again, this is Lori the Crafter in Minton. Until next time, bye.